everyone, it's Anne from Annalise's Creations. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I'm here to do a bookmark made from a cereal box, okay? This is the, the spine of the cereal box, okay? And I've cut it down to size to fit a, a you know, a normal size book, you know, paperback book. And I'll show you an example. I've never done this on camera. I've posted pictures on my Instagram account and on my Facebook. And this is what one of my completed bookmarks looks like. This is actually, I made it for my husband for Christmas. And I added a vintage stamp and uh, I think this was a stamp leaf. And I cut that out and added a background. This was done with my, with my scrap paper, drop paper, okay? But today, instead of using my drop papers, I'm going to use some jelly printed papers. One's a deli paper, the other one's this, okay? So first off, I'm gonna need to start with the background, and I was thinking I would use this one here, possibly. I'm just gonna use that as the background. I'm gonna cut out the glasses individually, if you can see the glasses that I did. Yeah. It was a stamp I made, a um, stencil I made using my Silhouette Cameo for that. So, um, started, so enjoy my process. back in a minute after I've dried the ink up. All right, up. so I like my feather, so I'm going to put this um, right about here, I think. Kind of like I did with the other one here, I think, a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it that way. Okay, so I'm going to glue this on. Lots of ways to use cereal boxes for things. And one of them's this way. And I need to use, I'm going to use a Faber Castell pit pen. I'm using the manganese violet. Okay. I'm just going back over the purple lines I had already used to outline this um, feather. stamps because I like to add the vintage postage stamps to this. So it's really easy to make these. It's not that hard. Normally I will steam these off, but today I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut. I'm not sure if I want to use this one yet. I'm 
lots of them. <laughs> Let's see. There's a nice Australian one that's cut. It's a little too big for there. Okay. What else do I have here that I can use? Mm, I do like that. This one's from Czechoslovakia. Looks like. Might be, but I'm not sure. I kind of like that one a lot, so I'm going to use this one. paint pen. I can find it. I had one around here somewhere. Here we go. Sometimes I do paint the black like this, right? But today I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to just take some washi tape on the back. Can't hoard all that washi, washi tape. Sometimes I get this cool washi tape and then I don't want to use it because I love it so much. But it's like, you got to use what you got have, right? Can't always hoard it. It's hard not to, right? I'm trying to line up the tape so it looks pretty even, see? hole punch and I'm going to punch a hole in the corner and then you'll see what I'll be doing next with it. So I'm going to take a hole punch and I'm just going to punch a hole in the corner right about there. All right. There's a reason why I'm putting that hole there but you'll see in a few minutes afterwards. But before I do that, I'll show you what I'm doing next here. All right, so I have my Xyron Creative Station. It's a sticker maker, um, but it, they also have a double-sided laminated tape. Um, so if you don't have a laminator, you could use this. The only problem with it is, is once you put it in, you can't really take it out until it's gone. So that's the only drawback. So I have to wait to be able to do any stickers until afterwards. So I'm going to feed this through and what it does, it feeds it through, it gives the double sided tape. Then I'm going to have to trim the edges. So I'm showing you how this works. And then I'm going to trim it off like that, okay? But before I do that, I need to make sure that it's really good and adhered to the, to the bookmark. You can buy little slips. I'll show you one that Gina Ahrens made me and sent to me. She made a really cute one just with her doodles on it. You know her about her doodles. And she put it inside a, it's like a bookmark protector, okay? which is cool because you could, you know, change out whatever you want. But I kind of prefer doing it this way because it really protects the bookmark and it makes it sturdier, I think, by having it in the plastic like this. So I just go ahead and I just smooth it out, make sure that it's nice and smooth. And I usually put my name on the back of it, but this one I just didn't, so oh well. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay. And then I'm going to trim the edges. And what I do is I put it through my cutting, I use my cutting board, um, cutting board or whatever you want to call it, cutting. Oh, I can't even think of the word right now. But anyways, I'll be back in a minute. All right. So Once this is what it looks like when it comes afterwards. So it's nice and plastic. And I did that hole, remember? 
So I'm going to have to punch out the plastic part for that hole. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Come on, release. All right, there we go. So there's the hole. Okay, I'm not done yet. Because, of course, i got to make this more fancy schmancy because this would be more for a lady than for a man. The one that I made for my husband, I made more masculine looking. So, you know, more darker colors and such. All right, so I'm going to use some of this cool yarn that I've bought at Hobby Lobby with a coupon because they're not really that cheap, this yarn. I mean, five bucks, yeah, six, seven bucks isn't bad, but I like paying less for that for something that I don't use very often. I don't like to spend full price on things. It's very hard for me to, um, so I prefer to get things when I can get a, use a coupon or when I can, um, yeah. So I'm just kind of guesstimating how much how much yarn I'm going to use for this one. Probably had some leftover ones. My dog likes this yarn. I found it almost in her mouth the other day. She'd gotten into my closet here, my the little walk-in closet that I have where I keep a lot of my supplies. She had gotten a hold of it. I had left it on the lower shelf, and she thought it was a toy. And yeah, I said. It's a good thing I caught her, because it would have been a nasty, yucky mess. You know, dog slobber? I don't think anybody wants dog slobber, right? On their stuff. All right. You know, you would think I'd know where the end was for this. Here it is. Nope, that's not the end, but it's going to be the end now, because I don't have the patience to look for it. So I'm guesstimating how much I used on that one. I'm just going to kind of eyeball because I don't like to measure. Nope. If I can avoid measuring, I avoid it. So here the, this is. So I'm going to, I'm going to feed it through like you would do a tag. I can't speak today. I'm sorry, guys. So I'm going to feed it through. Like I would do a tag, all right? That like the tags you see, I've seen me do, and you've seen me tie them on film. So I'm doing the same thing here with that idea. I've looped them through. I've made loops on each. Okay, so there's loops on each of these, and then I just feed the, the end through the loop, and it does this. Whoops, it didn't quite work. I'm going to have to re-loop it through. Sorry guys. Sometimes that happens, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so let's loop it again. Loopy loop. Another loop. Okay, and then I'm going to feed it through. Come on. So I'm looping it through, Whoops. so it's looped, and so I've got the one loop, two loops, and then feeding it through. There we go, now it worked, okay. So there you have nice bling on it, right? Okay, now I'm going to tie a charm or two, depending. I got these really cute charms at Daiso in their sewing section. And I couldn't resist, of course, you know, you gotta you can't just buy one of them. You gotta buy several packages because yeah, I don't often enough I'll go back and they don't have them anymore. So these are really cool charms. I love them. So I'm just gonna tie one on the end of this. So I'm gonna try to feed it through this tiny little hole. Sometimes it's good to use like a, a needle to get these through, but I'm just gonna eyeball, try to eyeball. Is can I feed it through? And probably not, of course, you know, of course. So 
always that way when I want to do something that's challenging, it's just not going to work if the hole is too little. So I'm going to have to figure something else out. Because I really wanted that little one. Let's see what else I have here that might fit the hole here. Really tiny, bitty, bitty. Oh, I've got a feather one. Okay, come on, Anne. You can do this. You can do it. Come on, get it through. Probably gonna hear a lawnmower being picked up on my um, mic today. It's the neighbors across the way have their uh, gardeners, and of course, you know, motor-powered lawnmower then the leaf blower, because nobody believes in raking leaves anymore. You know, good old fashioned work, you think? Nah, of course not, right? Okay, oh, come on Ann, you can do this. Get this through, and if you get it through, I'll be so happy, and that one did. Yay, I love it when things work. So I got it through. Okay, sorry guys if I wasn't completely in camera in the viewer. Okay, so I'm gonna tie this on. Okay, that one worked. So I've got one little charm going. See that? That looks cute. I like it. I like, I like, I like. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the bird cage. But if I can't get the bird cage, what else could I use? If I can't get the bird cage on, I don't even know what this is. Well, it looks like a cart with like ice cream or something on it. I don't know what this is exactly. See it? Don't know what that is exactly, but okay. Oh, here you are. There's a heart. I'm going to use this. So I'm going to tie it onto one of the pink strings. I think I'll do it this one here. It should be easier to string because it's a wider hole to get it through. I'm just hoping. Because this one, the end on this one is too. It's not going to work. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. <gasps> one charm. <laughs> So I'm just going to leave it like it is because, yeah, it wasn't working. So, you know, sometimes things don't work out the way you want them, the way you plan it. But that's okay, right? Um, next time. So that's it for this, guys. I hope you enjoyed me watching me do a simple bookmark that you can do out of your deli papers and stamp it and add some little extras to it and stamps, you know, postage stamps and pretty yarns and charms and things for a pretty bookmark. So I hope you enjoyed that and that I hope you'll come back again and watch my next video. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, comment, share, all that jazz. I love it when I when I get comments. They make my day and I liked you know if you have any questions too please don't hesitate to ask if you don't want your question public you are welcome to email me I have my email address down below so please email me if you have any questions and I hope that you all have a wonderful day bye toodles take care